Hi guys, welcome to day six of my December daily project. And I just did a couple of things off camera that I just wanted to show you. I didn't really like that I could see the gold accents here, although it's not the end of the world. Um, it's not that big of a deal, it looked okay. But this is predominantly silver accents here. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, if they peek through a little bit, it's okay, but I didn't want it to sort of be um, that dominant on this side. So what I did was I just took this sticker, which is a big uh, snowflake, snowflake that's silver, and I just stuck it on the outside of that pocket. Um, I also did a little bit more to this little tag and just stuck this little silver bow on it and I put a couple of little Heidi Swap silver reinforcements there and then I did the journaling on this hidden journaling tab or tag that's uh, hidden inside of there. Um, so I think that's all that I did off camera that I can remember. That's uh, kind of significant. Okay, so the prompt for this day is believe. And I kind of took it a little bit further and made it believe in magic. And okay, so I'm gonna start my process right away. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by decorating this insert that I'm gonna be working on first. And I'm just, first of all, gonna start off by trimming it up and getting it ready to go here. So this is like a file folder tab, I guess, or file folder top insert. I'm not really sure what you would call it, but anyways, um, it's the insert that I'm gonna be using for part of the journaling for this layout. And just fussy cutting the top of it there. And I'm gonna actually take some Stampin' Up vellum that has the silver snowflakes on it. It's really, really pretty. And I end up using quite a bit of it throughout this um, day six layout here and there. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to stick it down onto, I actually end up sticking it down, I think, to the front and the back eventually, whether I show that on the ca on camera or not. But I did cover the, fr the front and back with this vellum. This is so pretty. I really, really love it. It's gorgeous. So I'm just going to stick that down. And then I'm going to trim it up around the edges and get it ready to uh, put some embellishments on it and my journaling. So you'll just see me getting it ready to go here and I'll have to fussy cut that vellum off of there as well. So I've sped this up four times. So hopefully it's not, hopefully you can still get a good look at what I'm doing here, but it was quite a long video actually. So I wanted to speed it up four times so that it didn't take forever to watch. So I'm just going to take that now and get my hole punch, punch those holes, and I should be ready to do some embellishing on this one. So that little tag that you see there is one that I got at Michael's and it's, uh, I think it's Recollections and it's really super cute. It's just got um, some layers there, including some burlap and then that little silver star. And I ended up taking out one of the little Chamel enamel dots and I put it in the center of that. So I'm going to stick this journaling down to some silver glitter paper. And then I'm going to adhere that down to this really pretty blue, which matches the blue in the Chamel collection. This is not a Chamel paper here. This is um, some Recollections glitter paper that I got at Michael's for 60% off this weekend. I was pretty pumped. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, that six by six paper from the Chamel collection and stick it at the bottom there just to bring that red in. And I'm going to put a little chipboard star, uh, snowflake at the bottom. I love the red in this collection. It reminds me a lot of the Stampin', Stampin Up Riding Hood red, which was always one of my favorite reds in uh, the Stampin' Up inks and papers. I love that stuff. So I just stuck that down. I put some uh, liquid adhesive on it just to make sure that it would really stay stuck. And that's one of the little Chamel wooden buttons that I've stuck in, in the center of that. And I like the, how the wood kind of goes nicely with the burlap that was on that tag at the top as well as the little clothes pin that's part of that little embellishment. So this is a photograph that I, I just printed on my computer or on my from my computer. And it's actually a picture of Main Street Banff and part of the journaling that I do here is about a trip that 
Bailey recently took to Banff and as part of a trip, a longer trip to Calgary. <clears throat> Pardon me. And so I just printed it in black and white and I'm just matting it down onto some white and then some of that red and then some of the blue. And I'm going to put this vellum over top of it that I've printed a poem onto. And it's a Robert Service poem that's called The Joy of Little Things. And it fits perfectly with the theme for this layout, which is just finding the magic in everyday things that happen in life. It doesn't have to be some big event. It's just, you know, remembering to think about the small things that happen that really are the big things in life, not what sometimes people think might be the big things. So this poem actually is perfect. Like I couldn't have uh, found a poem that spoke more to the the sentiments that I'm expressing in this layout. So I really loved it. And uh, Robert Service is one of my favorite poets anyway. So love, love, love Robert Service. So this worked well. So I put it on vellum and then I put it over top of that black and white photo, which I really loved because it, it just mutes it a little bit, but you can still see the mountains in the background and the, the street, the street lamps and, st and, and that sort of thing. So I'm just kind of trying to decide how else I want to finish this off. And I put that snowflake at the bottom and I'm just going to take some of the silver glitter paper and I'm going to adhere that a couple of strips of that in uh, on the sides just to, I don't know, I just thought it finished it off nicely. I could have left it like this, but um, but I don't know, it just, it brings that silver glitter into it. I don't know, I just love glitter paper, glitter tape, <laughs> glitter, period. Anyways, it's all, it's all good, right? So it, it does look really nice on here. I couldn't believe my lucky stars when I found that glitter paper on so so cheaply at um, Michael's I had started out with just like bulk sheets of glitter paper and then it and it was 350 a sheet or something like that it was ridiculous and then I found the pads and they I think they were $29 or something like that for a great big thick pad and then it was 60% off of that so it was much cheaper so I was pretty thrilled so I'm just going to stick this in that in that um, pocket and now you can see there's that that other uh, file tab insert that I made and now I'm going to start working on the left side so I've got the right side done and I've got that one insert done and I'm going to work on some of the photographs um, some of my photographs to go on here so this first one is a picture of Bailey and Brady when they were in um, they were in Calgary in this picture, actually. They ended up going to a Calgary Flames Boston Bruins hockey game that night, I believe. So they, they went, they had a lot of fun at the game. And, and then this other picture is a photograph of them at the, they were at the Calgary Zoo. And this is one of the pictures that they took of the light show that was, that, that was the reason why they went to the Calgary Zoo was to see this light show. And the journaling that I do um, in the in the hidden journaling on that um, one tag is about their trip and the things that they did on their, their little mini vacation that they had uh, last weekend. So I'm just taking some squares of the different papers that I've used in this layout and I'm just going to um, take them and add those onto or into those little side pockets on the left side so I just yeah I'm just taking some just some little pieces and embellishing them then with those uh, really pretty glittery snowflakes and I think those are recollections I'm not exactly sure because I have these little um, containers for all of my Christmas um, supplies and they've they were in there for my last December daily too so I really love them though they're super pretty and they they are really nice on this particular layout because it does have those silver accents so I'm just going to finish embellishing up these pictures with a couple of little clear stickers that have the white words on them and I'm going to stick those down trim that up a little bit I just thought they looked really nice on there and I think the one that I put on the other side says shine. So one side set one the top picture there is going to say believe and then the bottom picture is going to say shine. And I think those are me and my big ideas stickers that I got at Michael's last year too. I think that's what it's I think that's what it is. 
Okay, so I'm just going to stick those in there. And all of the glitter paper that you see here is that from that glitter paper pad <laughs> that I got this weekend. Oh yeah, it's something else. Love it. And so we're going to have a little transition here. And we'll see what I'm going to do next. Oh yes, I printed out or I cut out the number six and I'm just going to take that. I cut that. I cut that with my silhouette out of some of that red glitter paper and I'm just going to take that to put my day six on this layout and I've already covered that banner with some some of that vellum again and I think I'm going to end up oh yeah this is the the tag that I use and I I took that banner I hadn't really decided ahead of time that I wanted to do the that hidden journaling so it would have been better if I'd kind of known that that's what I wanted to do when I made that banner but anyways I didn't so now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to add another layer to it once I realize that there's no way I can open that up because I glued it in the center if I hadn't I would have been okay but I did so I'm just going to now take it and I'm going to create another back for it so that I can create the hidden journaling pocket for that tag so I'm just going to take this white cardstock from Stampin' Up and I'm going to make another little layer for that banner for the back and then you'll just see me sticking it down and creating that pocket on the back side for the tag. I like doing hidden journaling. I think it's fun. I think it's just kind of like for anybody who ha didn't create the album to then look at it and realize suddenly that oh hey wait a minute there's a little there's a little mystery pocket here. <laughs> I like that kind of thing. I think it's fun and I, I think it just makes the album a little more interactive and um, you know when you have when you know that your family is going to spend some time looking at these albums it's just it just adds a little bit of interest and and fun to to the album experience I guess. So I'm just going to show you there how I'm going to stick that in there. Now I am going to take that tag back out. I'm going to make my own reinforcement for it out of the silver glitter paper and I started off with that really thick red and white cord on there but I ended up changing that to some Stampin' Up twine that's a little bit thinner and it actually has that Riding Hood red thread in it so that it's the it's more of the right color of red. That thicker twine was more of a bright red and uh, it, it didn't really match well so okay so I'm just going to trim this up trim that vellum off of there and get my holes again and and then uh, I'll create a little bit of extra embellishments here for this this um, banner so that little December uh, foam sticky that I'm going to put on there is actually from the November hip kit and I just thought it looked really pretty on here of course it's silver but also it just um, emphasizes the fact that this is December the 6th, right? So I thought that was a perfect embellishment for this banner. So you'll just see me add that, that reinforcement on there that I made. And then I'm going to add some Heidi Swap silver reinforcements and, and this will be done. So I really, really loved working on this again today. It was a lot of fun and day six is done. Yay. And I'm just going to keep working away on this album because um, I think I feel like it's going to be a real treasure for my family to to look at and remember um, our December story for 2015. So thanks so much for what for watching today and for joining me. See you next time. Bye.